17 wickets in the match, it's never been done by a Hampshire bowler before. What can we say? Just awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to quite say, Jamo, to be honest. It hasn't really sunk in. Um, yeah, pretty incredible. Um, I don't think, again, as waking up yesterday morning, I didn't, never thought I'd take nine yesterday. And then I didn't think I was going to take eight today. The pitch got pretty good. But um, once I started reversing, it started to get, get quite fun, to be honest. Um, and yeah, we knew we just needed to get into that middle order. They had a young middle order, put some pressure on them. And 270 was a long way off on this wicket. So 9 for 40 first innings, 8 for 46 in the second innings, what was harder? Sure, uh, this was probably harder, uh, the, se the second time around definitely, but it was a different um, set of skills. Uh, first innings it was nipping about with that, with that new rock, um, so sort of traditional first class bowling you can say. And then, yeah, as I said after lunch there, it's scuffed up nicely, the, the square's very dry at the moment, considering it's September, and we got to reverse and was going late, and um, yeah, kept hitting that front pad, and like I said, it, 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 it got fun, and then even turning the ball around, managed to, to get it to go the other way, um, as you saw the ones that were nicked behind, so um, yeah, a different, different skill set, but like I said to the guys in the change room, as a bowler, there's nothing more fun than a ball reversing, be it white ball, cricket, or, or red ball. I mean, they were 86 for nothing mm. at one point. You took six wickets and 31 balls, totally mm. turned the innings on its mm. head. I mean, even at 86 for naught, did you think, I can still get in here, I can still get amongst them? Yeah, like, again, like you said, we get one of the openers, we get the captain, and that was our goal. We knew Benson Bartlett in the middle order, young players, they're looking for their first championship. They're under huge pressure. We had absolutely nothing to lose. And to, yeah, to keep running in, but again, uh, all the guys, Freddie Bold, Pretty bold well when he came on box and, and the spinners and yeah we just kept reminding them that they one mistake away from from choking on the championship and our, our plan here was to spoil the party and we've definitely done that yeah i know james vince said last week he didn't want to see somerset celebrating this week you've certainly pushed that to the back burner 100 <laughs> percent. yeah i was asked yesterday on sky um but i'd rather finish third or, or spoil the party i said spoil the party by a long way they they celebrated against us at the Royal London finals, so uh, yeah, to, to get back here and, and make them do some hard work next week again. Essex, I think, is going to set up for a fantastic game of cricket on, um, on Sky, and it goes to show how competitive this championship is with promotion relegation, and there's so much on the line, and it's, it's a great place to play, and uh, leading on from the Ashes, I think four-day cricket test, cr test cricket is certainly not dead. Sure. Uh, this is an easy question, really. After taking 17 wickets <laughs> in three days, do you feel you're bowling as well as you've ever done? Uh, yeah. Um, I would think so. Uh, I was actually chatting to young Felix about it yesterday and it, it's weird, it only takes one or two balls to, to think that I'm in it. Um, once I hit my length at my optimum pace and speed and get a wicket from that, it suddenly puts my mind in a different space. And it can take one ball and I, and I think you commentate and you would have seen it quite a few times over the years, how many times I've been on a hat trick. I, I say 10, 12 times where I've got one and two straight away. And as soon as I pick up that feeling of, all right, that's the length, that's my optimum, uh, that's my rhythm, it sort of starts to click from there. And yeah, I had that for all sort of what, 40 overs that I bowled in this game. Out of those 17, was there one that you said, God, that's a bit more special than the others? Oh, I think the captain today, Tom Abel today, again, like I said, we, we target the captain in a run chase, especially or batting out a day. Um, we always think that the captain's going to lead from the front. Um, there were a couple of ones there that just worked for us. Um, three, actually. Uh, Davies, I was coming around the wicket and Fidel said, come over, swing it across him and nick him off and took one ball and that happened. Uh, Bartlett, I wanted to go away from him first ball. Vince said, bring it in. He said, it's reversing it. LB first ball. And Craig Overton, he said, oh, let's put in another slip and think you're going to take it away. And I did take it away and he nicked it first ball. It was just sort of everything not really from my side, but guys around me with ideas, whatever we touch just sort of turned to gold. Um, I think, yeah, once in a lifetime sort of day, even two days, but um, I think a great game of cricket, good wicket at the end of the day. It spun, it did a little bit of everything and uh, 200s and a couple of fifers. You can't ask for much more. Are you going to do that again at Canterbury? You're going to put your feet up? Might get a game off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit of a slope at, at Canterbury. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we got there. But um, definitely going to take the next three days off. Probably not bowlable until Monday morning when we get there. Um, yeah, so until then, I'm going to enjoy some beers in the middle with the boys now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.